you know, if you're not sure what you're going to do, you won't probably do much. But if you set yourself some lofty goals and start working towards them. Yeah. And just get on the phone and talk to people. Hi, I'm Maud Leger, and this is the Realtors Conspiracy Podcast, where we crack the code to real estate success. Learn from top realtors, entrepreneurs, and innovators about how to grow your business as we discuss real estate success stories, mindset, processes, motivations, and the key to their success. Check out our podcast episodes every Monday to crack the code to success for your real estate business. This week, I'm speaking with Lisa Cox from Keller Williams. Lisa shared how she is growing her business through consistency and support. She's a huge believer in the energy you put in the world and in continual learning. Let's get to my chat with Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining us on the episode today. Tell us what is the key to your success. Oh, Mo, thank you so much for having me. Um, I think that the number one key to my success uh, really has been the support of my family, my friends, my um, colleagues. I started real estate on a team and I got tremendous support there. Um, I know that's not actually something you can duplicate. Um, as far as the actual business success, I think the key uh, to any success that I may have had is consistency. Nice. And I've always been very consistent with prospecting, following up, um, building, really building and keeping in touch with my database. Um, birthdays, I almost never forget a birthday. Um, I, yeah, I just like to keep in touch with my clients. Yeah, that's a very good point too. like consistency. So doing it all the time, but also what do you put in there? Like, how do you touch base that in a genuine way that sometimes realtors feel they don't know how to do that? Well, I think first off, I just am genuine. And sometimes I'll just say, hi, it's Lisa. And the conversation will just go from there, right? Sometimes I'll just call people well, off and I'll just be thinking of them. And I always think there's something in the universe that um, says I should call. Okay. And often it's true. And I'll just let them know, you know, I was thinking about you. I thought I'd better call. Is everything good? What's going on? Um, and again, it is genuine. Um, for sure, when I have been building, I will call, you know, every three months, maybe every six months. But at least every three months, I always... I'm going through the database. I may not call you, but I'll think about you. Nice. And I just find as long as you're thinking about people, um, there's just some energy out there yeah. that keeps us all connected. The energy you put up there will attract. So then exactly. Makes yes. And even when you are making those calls, because I endeavor every day to make five, okay. um, they don't always all get made, but um I do find when you are making those calls, your phone starts to ring. Yes. And you know, we all know when we get very, very busy and we aren't making those phone calls. And then all of a sudden you're, you're done with all the work, the busy work. Um, and you need to get back on the phone to get the phone ringing for you. Yeah. And then, so you said you, your goal is five. You don't always do it. How do you keep yourself accountable to get those five in do you know what? I'm just very old fashioned. I have a little notebook every morning and every morning I put in there, talk to five people. I keep track of how many messages I left. And I do have a database uh, program yeah. that I log on to. And again, often it's just people I am genuinely thinking about and I'll just call them. Nice. You know, if there's people I've been thinking about yesterday, I had to call Stacy and Mike. Those were two people. My day was not going to end unless I called them. Because nice. I had really been thinking about them. Very cool. What's the response you're getting from people when you just touch base with them? It's usually almost always a very positive response. Um, I have an upbeat uh, personality typically. And they they mirror you. Just like you mirror somebody when they call you. Nice. Um, and there's not always going to be business that comes from it. But it's just always a nice conversation. It's knowing I do think of them and now they're going to think of me once more 
um, that way. If I'm calling people who I've never actually met, but I've been maintaining um, a telephone relationship with, it's still almost always a positive thing. They know my name. They've heard my voice. They thank me for calling. And again, we may not be doing anything today, but there's just that recognition. Yeah, the brand recognition from yeah, yeah, consistently calling them. Exactly. And there's, I've, for the years, because I've been doing this for quite some time, um, there have been people who have called after I've, I've never even met them, but we've talked on the phone uh, for so many years. And again, just consistently, and they just think of me as their realtor. Nice. They never thought of hiring anyone else. So um, no, there's never a pressure or a call to action like are you selling do you want to sell no no yeah, that's very cool very genuine like you said one question I have you mentioned you were on a team and then you went on your own what was a defining moment for you that made you decide yes I can do this I will do this on my own the big <laughs> I'm still trying to decide if I can do this but I'm I'm doing okay <laughs> Um, there was not a really big moment for me. It was simply time. I was on um, a great team, a successful team. Um, I like to think I was a part of that success. And, uh, you know, my family's grown now. And I just have, um, I just have the confidence and I want to do things my own way now, which is still going to be a lot, I would say it's still a lot of the same way that I did it with the team. Um, I just have a little more control. I have a little more control on the clients that I can work with or that I choose to work with. Yeah, no, for so sure. So when I was on the team, I was a listing agent. And that was primarily what I did was just the listing side of the business. And I really enjoy and I'm good at the whole business. I just, I really decided it was just time. Yeah. That makes sense. What is in your day to day other than the database and follow up? What processes do you have or what keeps you uh, going and working every day? <laughs> well, you, you know, there's always uh, something right now. It seems to be um, trying to keep deals together. Um, it's not easy out there right now. I'm just working on my third failed closing um, of the year. So that's not typical. So right now it's just busy that way. Um, and watching the market and seeing what's going on. I like to touch base with other realtors um, and just see what their experiences are. Um, my day really does. I just come into the office and I have my list of things I want to do. And it will be with systems that will be working in my business, which will be um, following up with agents uh, from show that have shown the properties, you know, all those things, giving and receiving feedback. Um, and then I take time and then on my business. So setting up those systems, perfecting them. Um, I have a virtual assistant who we meet and uh, we put uh, little projects in place. So the days are always busy. They're always busy. Yeah. You mentioned it's a difficult market right now. What would be your best advice for new realtors starting up and dealing with all this difficult market right now? Oh, gosh, for a new um, agent, I mean, just let's go. If, jump in and don't be scared <laughs> because you will make it through. Um, I think that new agents need to or should remain humble and remain calm and know that it's okay if they don't know everything. Um, just ask questions and get guidance. Uh, don't try to stumble through it. Ask your broker, ask other realtors. They, everyone is almost always very happy to help you. Um, I just, I think it's really, really important to ask. Yeah. And to set your goals, right? I think going for new agents is really important. Even if your goal seems ridiculous, I would say shoot for the moon and um, at least you'll get up there. But if you, you know, if you're not sure what you're going to do, you won't probably do much. But if you set yourself some lofty goals and start work towards them, 
Yeah. And just get on the phone and talk to people. That's really the key, right? <laughs> it really is. It really is. Yeah. And what are three key actions that every realtor should be doing? Number one would be phone calls. What would be the two other ones you would suggest? <laughs> um, they should be doing training. Nice. I almost always have either a coach or some form of ongoing training, um, I think is very important. And being seen in your community, um, getting involved and supporting other people, right, um, in your community, I think is super important. Um, yeah. I love it. That's very cool. It, it goes back to the support you were talking about, getting support, offering support, being part of a community. Yeah, I think, um, well, I, I think I live in a great community. And, you know, when you're doing business and when you're not doing business, and I think it just happens with real estate, you, have, you think you have a personal life and a business life, and it, it's right. just your life. It just all becomes your life, right? And how you show up, you know, in every part of it is really, really important. And I think people want to know and be able to tell their friends what they get if they were to choose to work with you as the realtor, because they know you are a person and that's how you show up. Yeah, very true. Yeah, you have one life. <laughs> They're both the same. Exactly, exactly. It's just life. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, cool. Exactly. What motivates you? What gets you interested in going into every day to day with real estate? Oh gosh, well, um, really, I think my clients motivate me, and I love to do a deal mode. Mm -hmm. I love to sell real estate, <laughs> and I love to talk to my clients and just keep them um, in touch with things. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, I love problem solving and uh, everything that real estate. Yeah. challenges you with that's amazing i've seen your branding on instagram and on your website you have very clean branding what made you decide okay. to develop it th that way i got some help mode um yeah i hired a professional uh, um, and that's actually one thing, like, I know what I know. Um, and I did not know how to make a logo or a brand or did not know how to do any of that. Um, so I did, I got some professional help. And it just all kind of has snowballed from there. It's not one person. Um, I've built sort of my own little behind the scenes team. Yeah, who yeah. keep things uh, running smoothly and looking good. It goes back to your consistency, I think. Like your your branding is consistent, your business is consistent. And that was what I really did want. I wanted, I mean, just in silly ways, I wanted people to know that on this day, I'm probably going to post this or that I want people to know they can count on me. And what kind of resources, books, or uh, you mentioned coaching, like where would you refer new realtors for resources and learning? For resources and learning, I think to start, because they're not likely, well, unless you do, if you have a, a bucket of money that you can pull from, um, you know, coaching can be very, very expensive, but it pays off. Nice. Uh, I think a new agent would probably be better off changing their car radio station to listening to Audible and listening to podcasts and just learning that way. Like your podcast, I listen to it every, I think it's Monday it comes out, but I have a whole stack of them, right? Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> and you learn something, listen to other realtors, uh, listen to professionals like you and the other professionals you have on and learn that way yeah uh, learning. again i i believe in coaching a hundred percent yeah that's amazing well thank you so much where do we find you what's your instagram handle and your website oh thank you mode it was really nice talking to you uh, my instagram is at lisa cox real estate i'm pretty sure and my website is lisa cox real estate Dot com and there is a link to uh, the Instagram account there. 
Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing all of this with other realtors. It's always great to be empowering others. And I think you did a great. Oh, thank you, Mo. Thank you so much. Have an awesome afternoon. Thank you. Thanks for joining. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it.